Hi, I'm Mark Castell. I'm the CEO of Maintenance Assistant. And today I'm going to show you how to use Maintenance Assistant to find the parts you need to get your work done. This morning the rototiller broke. I need to create a work order. Using our new mobile app, I'm going to scan the QR code and create a work order. So I've scanned the QR code. I'm creating a work request from the mobile app, adding a priority, the type of maintenance. I'll add a description in here. Chain gearbox has a problem. We'll save that. Perfect. Work orders created. Okay, meanwhile... I think the problem's in the chain drive. So I've taken the chain cover off the rototiller. And you can clearly see that the chain is broken. But I think I can fix that, no problem. Well, unfortunately, there was a problem. The connecting link on the roller chain is broken. I think what I'll do is take a picture of it with the mobile app and add it to the work order. I'm back at my desk now, and I'm going to show you where the image got uploaded. Go to the work order, to the file section, and there I see the image that I took from my iPhone. Now I'm going to look in the operator's manual and find the parts that I need for my repair. I search for roller chain. There it is, number 60H. I'll just double check that with the schematic. Perfect, it's part number 46. I'll write that into my completion notes since I'm here. Connecting link number 60H roller chain and offset are broken and need to be replaced. I'll just highlight part of that. Connecting link number 60H roller chain and pop that into my MA source toolbar and right away I see the two parts that I'm missing, the connecting offset link and the connecting link on Amazon, and scroll down on Granger as well. There's about a $25 price difference in there. That's a little more than the monthly price of my CMMS subscription. I think I'll just go ahead and buy that. So I click the Buy Now button, Add it to my shopping cart. Perfect. But now I just remembered that I'm looking for another tool, which is the Tektron Dual Gear Power Puller. So maybe I'll just add that to the order as well. Proceed to check out, and now those three parts have been ordered. Now, I don't have any of these parts in my inventory, so let me just go ahead and add them using the MA Source tool. Perfect. I'm going to add each of those into the garage inventory storehouse directly from the MA Source by instantly creating a new asset from the little icon on the MA source parts list. And I'll add those again to the garage. Save that. And let's go ahead and add those two parts to my work order now. So I'll just search for the link. There it is. I'm going to use one, the offset link, and one of the connecting link. So I'll add those to my work order, save that, change the work order status to waiting on materials, and save that. Excellent. Now I'll wait for the parts to arrive, and then I can finish the repair so I can get back to cultivating my vineyard. Now it's your turn to give MA Source a try. There's millions of parts to choose from. You can get great prices on them, compare them, and I'll bet that by using it, you'll save more money each month than the cost of your MA CMMS subscription. 